Let me tell you. This is historical. It has not started with President Uhuru. And I was the first person to go back to Eclipse to advise the Deputy President. To have a minute with the retired President, President Daniel Troitich Arab Moy. So that Moy would have given him a lecture of five minutes as per how he ascended to power when he was a Vice President. He's the only first Vice President in the Republic of Kenya to ascend to power after the death of our founding father, Mr. Jomo Kenyatta. And Moy knew, even if he was representing President Jomo Kenyatta in all OAU meetings in Africa, Kenyatta used not to fly, Kenyatta used not to go out. But when he comes back, and Mzee Kenyatta is at Dhingirawa Iregi Nakuru, with the former provincial police officer Mungai, the director of CID, Mr. Nderi, and Mbiu Mwana Wakoinange, and Mungai, who was the foreign affairs minister, President Moi would not be allowed to go there. He stopped at the door at the first gate, and he goes home. The following day, he could not complain to Kenyatta that your people chased me away. He went, he removed his pencil, he counted years of the old man and his, and then he persevered. Until when he finished his term, when his time of ascending to power came. When he was introducing him in any rally, he could hardly take two minutes. He says, Your Excellency, this is your meeting. I'm only two minutes, address your people. But you are my deputy in a public rally, you want to articulate government policies. You want to go and preside over functions of government, opening up of roads, as if you are the head of, and the head of state is there. Even mentioning the cost of road A to B will cost. Who is leading? We don't have two presidents. You wouldn't be happy even if you are self in that seat. So I advised the people who support the deputy president to tell him to have one minute. If you want to ascend to power, you must be humble. You must humble yourself behind those who are before you, even if you know more. But when you assume my responsibilities and I'm on the seat, what do you people want President Uhuru Kenyatta to do to vote? What do you want him to do? Because even if he would have stayed there in the church and the Ruto stands up, he starts articulating government policies, the roads he wants to put up in Kiambu, even in the home of President Kenyatta himself. And you are there. And you give a room to Kuria, eh? Moses Kuria, to think it is Ruto who is running the government and not Uhuru Kenyatta. You make Wambuku Kunjiri in Nakuru to say it is not Uhuru, it, you know, He's diverting attention in the house that is not his. And therefore soon he's going to find himself alone. I'm saying as an elder I have nothing to lose. I'm giving him a free advice. Let him disappear as if he's not there and he will service 2021 and he will survive. But if he wants to be where every place where President Kenyatta is, to go to the church, if you are a sinner, even if you went to Catholic church where I go, a thousand times, you will remain a sinner. <laughs> huh? you, will, you will not wash away your sins. Tell him to humble himself. And you know Ruto Habas hate. Let him try to consult these people. Talk slowly, not without him. I'm giving him a free advice. If you are recording, send this thing to him. He will survive. But if he goes the way he's going, he's not going to survive at all, at all. And he should not say we did not warn him. The way he has disappeared in his going home, let him sit there. Who is he receiving delegates on behalf of government and President Uhuru Kenyatta is alone with Margaret in the house? <laughs> <laughs> Say in that sense. And he's the head of state. I can't allow it even if it was myself. I would say yes. So I'm a the president. I chukua your circumstances. And we don't get it. Kibaki and watch that shield that protect a symbol of protection of Kenya, Ile Upanga, in the hands of only one man. That is Uhuru Muigai Kenyatta. Let somebody tell Ruto, this is free advice. I am elder. Ruto was born 1966, June or July, when I was leaving from four. And in the following year, I started working when he was less than one year, on 2nd of June, 1967.
His elder sisters are the ones who are supposed to be my girlfriends. <laughs> who would have been my girlfriends? Huh? His elder sisters. Or cousins, rather. Huh? Because he didn't know what was going around. Uh, when we were dancing, boogies and what have we in Nairobi, embracing a bond, Kalanjin girl, beautiful Kalanjin girl, he was nowhere. Let him listen to me for free. Let him listen to me for free. And he will survive.